Today, I will tell most of the stuff I bought for the book fair. But when Mum saw what I got to replace it, she wasn't all that thrilled. I traded a bunch of those sprinkler books and went squiz crazy about. Mum said she wanted to get, get books that were more challenging, but I don't have much of a choice. The good book fair is a few weeks before Halloween. It's kind of, and this is the kind of stuff they are selling. I say about 90% of the, the books at the fair were from the Sprinkler series. There were a bunch of Sprinkler ripoffs too. I don't know if he said to, to do that kind of thing, but sometimes about it doesn't seem right. Knee knockers. My brother is a no-brainer by M.T. Grave. Rip Berinters. The day my belly button tried to eat me. But are you scared? It feels like these scary books just came out of nowhere. Last year's are really popular at my school was the Underpants Bandit books. But, but those are yesterday's news now. In fact, I saw a kid walking down the hall with the under, Underpants Bandit book earlier this week. An eighth grade gave me an automatic Reggie. I'm not usually a big fan of scary stories because when I read them, I, have, I end up having nightmares. But, even, but Roy is even more chicken than I am because he, all the books he picked were out from the Spring and the Junior series, which are supposed to be kindergarten. Sprinkler Junior, Scaredy Cat and the Haunted House by I'm Spooky. These are brave, brave enough for the real stuff. One of the books I bought is a guy who gets frozen and wakes up in the future. Sprinklers. Wake me up in the year of 3000 by I'm Spooky. I thought a bunch of science fiction, but I was at Sandy said he heard about this rich guy doing it for real. I he saw news report about an old billionaire who, who's really sick and he paid a ton of money to freeze himself. In a hundred years, he's going to get unfrozen. Better than that, they'll know how to cure every disease. We're going to go living forever. This freezing sounds like a great plan to me. If, and if I stretch one with one day, I'm going to do the exact same thing. But I'm not going to win until I'm old like a billionaire. I will see it. If you freeze yourself when you're too old, and you will freeze yourself in the future, you're going to be too grumpy to have any fun. Get off my lawn! So if I win a lottery of something in the next few years, I'm going to use the money to buy myself one way ticket to the future. OK, let's do this thing. I'm not telling anybody about this plan. So, so, let's look at how it's going in Philip, Clive and his parents are rich. If he gets to see my dear ask me, I could still be dealing with him a hundred years from now. You wet yourself, ha ha. I'm not sure if hundred years far enough to go. I have a great niece and new and new babies and say I'm not. But it's near my niece, I can clean the bunch of diapers in the future. <coughs> I thought I'm playing this on Stop stay, staying frozen a lot longer, like a thousand years. Because that's when things will be really interesting. I'm not willing to go any further than that. Because, though, because who knows how much human is being involved by then. I, if I don't win luxury for the next few years, I guess I'm going to find a cheaper option. I bet Sandy said, People who can't afford to get a whole bunch of frozen can just freeze their brains. I'm kind of nervous handing my brain over to some people I don't even know. Though, I'm guessing they're not paying their MCs a lot of money to basically wait and do nothing. I'm kind of concerned about quality help they have working at these freezing places. But if I can scrape together, after your brain gets unfrozen, 
I guess they put the brain in a robot body. It probably takes a lot to get used to. Nerd. If I'm going to scrape together enough money, I'm going to freeze my whole body and do it right. But if I ever go with a cheaper option, you end up rejecting it. Saturday.